And that may well be the most amazing part of this story, that one single post supported that basement ceiling. We're told it was not nailed to the floor or the ceiling. So if that thing had collapsed, this thing could have been much, much worse. The man is now recovering at an area hospital. That house, we're being told, is being condemned because it's in such bad shape. Live in Silver Spring, Richard Reeve, ABC 7 News. Okay, Rich, thank you. Well, right now, the threat for severe weather, thankfully, is over. So what can we expect for tomorrow? Here's our meteorologist, Steve Rudin. Much better tomorrow, Steve? Yeah, Allison, a much better day tomorrow in terms of no severe weather. But earlier this evening, uh, wow, let me tell you, a lot of tornadoes and funnel clouds are spotted across the mid-Atlantic. Closer to the D.C. metro area, two funnel clouds, one just to the west of Stafford, the other one just to the west of Fredericksburg. That's what triggered the severe thunder or the tornado warnings uh, that area earlier this evening. And then we had another tornado warnings, actually three of them for St. Mary's County. All of that is now over with now. All of the warnings, all of the watches for severe weather have now canceled out. And the strongest of the storms lift on off toward the north and east as our skies begin to partially clear. Still have some flood warnings in effect for the district, Arlington and Alexandria. This is for the overnight hours. Typical areas that are known for flooding. Nighttime lows will fall into the 40s. We'll take a look at the rest of the week and the upcoming weekend in just a few minutes. All right, Steve, now, as you know, this is the same storm system that left a path of destruction to our south. At least 31 tornadoes were reported in 24 hours. Three people were killed. Homes and businesses destroyed in Florida and Louisiana. People had just moments to react as tornadoes snuck up on them during the night. One of them, an EF3, packing 155 mile per hour winds. Still ahead on ABC 7 News at 11, Apple CEO Tim Cook talks about why he's refusing to honor a demand from the FBI. It's an interview you'll see only on 7. And flooding shut down a lot of roads tonight. How are the roads doing right now and how are they looking for the morning? Well, we're in Mobile Track 7 Live and we're going to tell you.